Hello YouTube. Here we are with my bedside computer again. The one I recently swapped the board out in. Well, we're going to upgrade this machine today. Upgrade the crap out of it. We're going to upgrade the CPU and the graphics card up to today's standards. So, well, the CPU isn't quite today's standards, but it's still good enough. So we have here these two. We have bought this from a friend. A Phenom 2 X4 955 Black Edition. So that's a quad-core CPU, and that'll do pretty well in this machine. Got a cooler to go along with that that I got with my 6000 Plus back in the day. This thing is awesome. This was this is what stock coolers used to be. Then AMD screwed it all up and made them cheap. So, yeah. And I also bought this from eBay, this Galaxy G uh, GT640 graphics card. Uh, which actually has a really nice cooler on it. Which is part of the reason I bought it. And it was $60 as opposed to the $90 you'd normally pay retail. So I was A-OK -okay with that. Satisfaction guaranteed. Wow, this is brand new in the box. The seal hasn't even been broken. That's awesome. So what can this card do? That's what it requires. My hand is shaking, I'm sorry for that. It supports PCI Express 3.0, which is kind of nice. So There you have it. Hopefully it's backwards compatible with PCI Express 2.0. Because if not, I'm going to have a useless card on my hands. Well... We'll find out, shall we? So let's put the CPU and the graphics card in and see how much that improves performance. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot to just show this. It's, um, it's a 640 uh, with 1 gig of RAM, DDR3, 128-bit card. So it's not bad. This is a budget card, and it's that way for a reason. So there you go. Just wanted to show that. Here's the graphics card. Nice, re really nice looking one too. It has a nice big fan. Galaxy makes really nice cards, so at least they put nice. Actually, they put nice coolers on their cards, I should say. There's the specs on the back. Right there again. I know this is a PCI 3.0 card. I'm hoping that it's backwards compatible with PCI 2.0 because that's what this board has in it, as you can see down there. So. Hopefully it works. If not, I'm not going to be very happy, but let's put the card in and find out if it works. Come on, line up with the holes there. There, the card's in. Bada bing. Bada boom. Now I just got to screw it down. Okay, let's test my theory out. Let's make sure this card actually works. Let's see if it boots. It does. Very nice. So I guess it's just compatible with PCI Express 3.0, but doesn't necessarily require it. That's good. That's very good. So I think we can go onward with the CPU upgrade now. Drain the capacitors there. All right, let's upgrade the CPU. Oof, finally got it in there. Uh, three of the pins on one side were bent a little bit, so I had to get a credit card and straighten those out. That fixed it right up. So, now I just got to clean it off. Clean off this heat sink and uh, stick it on there. And then we can uh, see the upgrade and see what kind of performance we're going to get out of it. I'm particularly keen to see what the GT640 can do. I know a couple of people that have them. So, it should be interesting to see. There, got the new CPU with the uh, the better cooler on it, and I got the Galaxy GT640 here, the NVIDIA GT640. I'm anxious to see how this card will perform. It should perform a little bit better in certain areas than the 9600 GT did, plus it will use a lot less power, which is the main reason I bought this card, just so it's just uses less power, because I really don't need much. And this card should last quite a while, uh, so... There you have it. 
All right, now I gotta clean my old heatsink and my old CPU off. Yeah. This is the old chip. It was an AMD Athlon 2 X3 440. So it was a tri-core AMD chip. Uh, this is this was a good chip while I used it. It's just that uh, the ath this this particular Athlon was showing its age, and I wanted something that would beef it up a little bit more. And the Phenom chips are fantastic, so that's why I went with what I did. And yeah, let's go set this up next to the bed and try it out. Some of you may be wondering what I'm going to do with the old graphics card, the 9600 GT. Well, this is going to be moved to my LAN party computer over there in, in place of the 9500 GT. So this will up the memory bandwidth big time, which is uh, good, because that's 128-bit versus 256-bit. This card will perform very well when playing stuff like TF2 and CSGO. So... That's all it really needs to do, and that card will do fine. So that's where this card is. That's where this card is going to end up. And yeah, that just answers that question. All right, let's turn this on and see how it reacts. Oh, you know it generally helps turning this power supply on. There. There we go. It sees it. Sees the VGA bias. All right, come on. All right, very nice. We have an AMD Phenom 2 X4 955 Black Edition at uh, 3.2 gigahertz. 512k of L1 cache, 2 megs of L2 cache, and 6 megs of L3 cache. Excellent. This is what we have in here, too. We have uh, 6 gigabytes of RAM. So it recognized it all. That's good. Alright, so let's install the NVIDIA drivers into Windows and see how the GT640 works. I'm sure it works just fine, but I want to see for sure. Well, it starts Windows, so that's good. Download the driver and get that all going. One thing I noticed right away is that uh, when you log in, getting to the desktop is a lot quicker now with this new CPU. That's very good. Let me uh, get to the task manager here. Uh, control delete's difficult on this keyboard. All right. There we go. Four cores. Oh, yeah. All right, so let's check out the Windows Experience Index. There you go. There's what I have in there now. Phantom 2X4, 955, 3.2 GHz. Excellent chip. I was going to get a 965, but I got this for a pretty good price, so I'm happy about that. This is what the uh, scores used to be for this particular uh, computer. Let's refresh them and see how much the CPU and the graphics go up. All right, sweet. Wow, what a difference! The processor and, and memory went up to seven point three, and the graphics went up to seven point one. Excellent, excellent. That's a very effective upgrade. Very happy with that. So. There you have it. I upgraded my bedside computer a little bit to uh, bring it up to the standards of that that uh, Core 2 quad board had, and I actually like it. I really like it. So, there you have it. That was just a little upgrade to the bedside computer. Hope you enjoyed, and have a good one, everybody. Ciao.